I'm confused about your optimism for President Barack Obama, despite his and his Justice Department's use of the state secrets defense to protect criminals using rendition and torture, his statements that he will leave 35 to 50,000 non-combat troops in Iraq, his escalation in Afghanistan and Pakistan, and I could go on. Can you name any policies or actions he has taken to work for peace or justice? Uh, well, uh, if, uh, if, if this meeting was about Iraq, or Afghanistan, or Pakistan, or Guantanamo Bay, or extraordinary rendition, I'd be happy to give you the benefit, such as it is, of my views on those subjects. But it's not. This meeting is about Palestine. And I'm arguing that this moment, when the United States is necessarily re-evaluating its role in the Israel-Palestine conflict, that Barack Hussein Obama is the best hope we've ever had. That's not to say that we are guaranteed that he will change America's role in the region. But take a look at the chatter on the internet from amongst Israel's most fanatical supporters. Maybe some of them are here tonight. <laughs> and you'll discover just how worried they are about Barack Obama's real attitude towards this question. I'll tell you the most important thing he's done. The most important thing he's done is having sat at the feet of the late and great Professor Edward Said and knowing everything about the Palestinian question. You see, the last guy had the alibi that he was an idiot. He wouldn't have known who Edward Said was. He couldn't have read Orientalism. But President Obama has and could. And it's because I believe that he's so clever that I am sure that he must realize that if America continues its policy, then there's no point in closing Guantanamo Bay because he'll only have to reopen it again. He'll only have to open hundreds of Guantanamo Bays, hundreds of extraordinary rendition, torture chambers, and all the other obscenities of the last eight years because America's problem in the world will only get worse if it continues to deal out injustice and double standards towards the Palestinian people. Now, he's only been in office a little over a hundred days. That's really not very long to judge him on. But he made one very good decision. He chose Senator George Mitchell as his envoy on this subject. As half an Irishman myself, let me tell you that Senator Mitchell played a crucial, maybe decisive role in bringing about an end to 400 years of war between Ireland and Britain. His diplomacy, his skills, his remorseless and tireless efforts were crucial to the Irish peace process and I think it says something that Obama chose him for this job. And because I know Mitchell, I know he would not have taken the job if he was only window dressing. So let's see. I could be wrong. I was wrong once around 1977, 78. <laughs> I could be wrong. He may disappoint us all. He may break all our hearts. But let's give him a little longer than 120 days. <laughs>